Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And you're probably wondering, why are we doing another review today? Doing another review basically on the next day after Saturday? Well, there's a reason. I'm going to the Goodwill outlet, and I want to have my table cleared before I go, starting tomorrow. On my paid vacation. So, I'm on paid vacation from my work. And I always find room in my schedule, here on my work schedule, to review. But given we're kicking off a scary October with some scary figures, that's why we're doing these videos, because it's Scary October, and I'm picking up some new figures from the Goodwill Outlet. Why not? Dare I say why not? We're going to look at the action figures and then look at the packaging, because we got so many of these on the table. First, we got this guy. He is technically a turret Karn figure. Articulation, not much. Sure, it doesn't have much articulation, and the missile can shoot off. I don't know where it just disappeared to, but I'll find it later. Now, throw it on the top shelf. Next, we got the Synthoid Evolution, and this is where they can fly now. Ain't that disturbing? You thought they were pretty scary on the ground, but now they can actually fly. Now, that's scary, huh? Next on the list, we got the Brute Evolution Pack. They got the, these shoulder cannons and this big axes, so they can go slash, slash, and cut down the enemy with those big axes. Why not? And they get these cool shield spider things. Why not? Yeah, I say why not. And I got two of these because I wanted to show off, collect two of these. Because they're so cool looking. Well, I bought two drones just for these axe wielding packs. So, yeah, I got two brutes with guns and two brutes with axes. Now, that's Halloween horrifying, huh? They got melee weapons in the car now, huh? Next on the list, we got another a drone upgrade kit. They get these spear sword things, so they can go slash, slash, and stuff. You could totally switch this around, and if you don't like the spear, you can have him wield in a sword and be like, "I'm gonna cut you down, Alpha Team." <laughs> I couldn't help my scary voice. <laughs> okay, next we got another one. Why not? And this one's pretty cool as well. I bought two of these because. I like these upgrades for the drones. Why not? Next on the list, we got crawlers. Finally got some Karn crawlers here. And these things are creepy looking, aren't they? They'll come and get you from the underground and drag you underground. Just like the Tremors, almost. They're cool. I dig them. Last on the Karn scary list... Diabold gets his chariot. From the final faction, he gets a ch battle chariot so he can go into battle and be like, ha ha ha, the Alpha Team will never escape my ultra powerful chariot of power. <laughs> and it's creepy looking and it's got eyes. Oh man, that's disturbing. It's got eyes and it rolls. That is creepy beyond the shadow of a doubt. Okay, next, we're going to look at all the Alpha Team stuff and then the packagings. First up, Steel gets this little flight pack, which I have hard trouble getting to stay on him. But yeah, he gets a Firefly flight pack now and a helmet, which is cool, and this suit. So yeah, awesome looking upgrade for Wings of Steel himself. Why not? Dare I say, why not? He's cool looking. And I already reviewed that guy, so... <laughs> no sense in talking about him anymore. Next, Tarn gets an upgrade kit with these 
robot arms so he can go i'm gonna take you down karn and rip you apart with my robot arms why not he's pulling off a dr octopus with a dr octopus why not dare i say why not he's kind of cool next we get rook and he gets a new bat pack and a bunch of new rifles which we're going to show them off here you get this rifle that he can hold you get this silver rifle oh man this is cool too and another silver rifle so you can go pew pew when he runs out of ammo he can switch rifles why not dare i say why not it's an option and options are good probably going to display them with both rifles in hand because I like to display my toys like that. Next on the list, our drone gets an upgrade kit as well. He gets a blaster now and he's got new flight thrusters. So he can fly through the air even faster. Just like Superman, almost. But not Superman. He can fly as fast as Superman. Up, up, and away. And all that. We do get these turret figures as well. Which are technically pretty cool. And we're going to look at the upgrade packs. This is, We got the Rook. Rook. Mantec upgrade pack. So now we got the table clear. We can start looking at all these upgrade packs right here and now. The Synthoid Evolution upgrade pack, which is a nice one. Why not? Uh, we got the Saber upgrade pack, which is kind of nice. I have no idea how to put the other accessories on, but I will try to figure that out for this review. Got to remove her swords somehow. And then attach this to her back in a weird way. Can I make this work? Do I make this work or not? The big question. Today, will it work? Well, I can kind of make it work, but it's not a solid connection. That is the nitpick. They could have done this a bit more solider. Then it would have connected with ease. Basically. But I'm just going to leave it like that. But she does get some other weapons with this upgrade pack. She gets this little spear thing, which is kind of cool. She get, gets a some nunchucks so she can go... Calabunga, why not? She gets some nunchucks, a battle, why not? And she even gets a throwing star, so she could be like throwing throwing stars at the Karn, why not? It's Saber. No matter what, she's going to be a good looking figure. But that's all the upgrade kits for good old Saber. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Next, we get some upgrade kits for good old Steadfast. And this is the upgrade pack for Steadfast here. He gets a mechanical arm and some rocket launchers and this bat pack and these leg armor. Why not? This arm attaches to his main arm like so. He gets a grappling claw for busting heads. 
And we're going to show off each version of that upgrade, if I can remove these without breaking them. <laughs> this one is called the Rail Gun. Come on. Come on. Come on. He gets the rail guns and go pew, pew, bang, bang. And he gets the last upgrade kit, which is his, he gets a machine gun hand. So he could go shooting up the car with a machine gun of epic proportions. Be like, eat double Gatlin, Karn. <laughs> and I couldn't help but make this noise. Why not? It's a fun looking option. It's a fun option. And options are good on this channel. But now we're going to give him back his grappling claw and put it back in his hand. And then we're going to go put him on this off to the side. But definitely we, we got a lot of upgrade kits today on this channel. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Next, we got the upgrade kit for long range. This is the box for it. This shows off all the rifles, basically. Why not? He can hold two in hand and one on his backpack. It's an option you can do with this pack. Why not? And they give him three guns with his original gun, which makes four. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Next, we got the turret drone pack figure and this was a figure i had to wait for it to come out because it looked so pretty cool this is the m4 turret so yeah this is pretty cool okay we got the packaging for the crawler here looking very intimidating crawlers they are the most ugliest creatures in the car and army i think I only read a little bit, but they're called crawlers. Why not? I say, why not? We got the other upgrade pack, and this is for the drone, which gives them wings and missile launchers, which I got two of these upgrade packs just for this drone. So we're going to show off the wings like so. Flip them out. And now we can go flying into battle and being like... <laughs> With the missiles and the gun, the ga the machine guns. Why not? It's an option. Dare I say why not? And we got two of these. Just because I like building up Alpha Team sets. I really do. And these are some nice looking upgrades. So yeah, we're going to move them off to the side. They continue this toy haul. And this is an entire wave of final faction figures from wave two well wave three are on um, wave two and three basically next we got the upgrade kit for rook the first upgrade kit for rook i had to buy two more rooks just to show this upgrade kit off so we're going to pull out these upgrade packs here's the one for the aero drone and how to install it why not there i say why not but here's the other upgrade kit for Rook. And this is Rook Cyber Armor. This is a cool looking... Oh wait, that's a Tarn Cyber Armor upgrade pack. I might have shown off Rooks already or I'm just missing it somewhere. Give me a second to locate it. Because I swear I have that upgrade pack somewhere in this pile. No, no. Ah, so here is the upgrade pack, and now I gotta reattach that missile of rooks because it has a thing for keep falling off on you. Keeps falling off on you, but yeah. And the missile part is easily lost, and there goes his foot. Upgraded foot. Where the hell is that missing part? Forgive me for swearing i just can't help but i'm looking for this part so forgive me for the for that i didn't mean to swear on my channel but given it was because i'm frustrated a little bit with finding that 
piece wherever it went off to. I just did it go off to. Eh. Well, yeah. The missile would go on like this, and he would literally be able to shoot a missile off. But it's kind of like a Mantec suit. Why not? Dare I say, why not? It's an option you can do with this figure. And we got the last upgrade pack for Rook here. And this is the last upgrade option for Rook. So I had to buy another Rook. This is the the uh, Rampage Rook mech suit, which is kind of like a mech suit, kind of like from uh, Mantech and the movie Aliens, which is why I picked up this upgrade kit. Why not? It looks pretty cool. I even added some additional guns so we can go pew pew, bang bang, missiles, <laughs> and stuff. And even gave him a communication pack so he can communicate with base. Why not? Dare I say, why not? That is almost the last bit of upgrade packs here. We got the turret upgrade pack. The drone evolution pack. We got the upgraded brute pack. Brute strike, that's what they call it. And last but not least, we got the upgrade packs for Diabold's Chariot. And how to install each and every piece. So yeah. That's all there is to say for this review. If you like this video, please make sure to like and please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.